What's good gamers? It's Roll Easy and today we're going to be going over the easiest and best way to make millions and millions of dollars in GTA 5 online. I'm telling you, if you want to see how I just duplicated this entire garage that you're seeing on the screen right here, stay tuned for the whole video, all right? So <laughs> before we get started, make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Now, this is kind of like the same glitch that we did before but you're just gonna have to do that part once so what you're gonna need is the MOC personal vehicle storage with the Sultan RS only the Sultan RS guys stop trying to duplicate any other car it doesn't work with this glitch you're gonna need any garage you can use all your garages just make sure you got RH8s in them uh, you do need custom plates for this that's the only downside you have to have custom plates so if you don't have custom plates refer to my last video I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of this video and you're gonna need at least a million dollars to be able to do this all right and shout out to the founders east side boy for the original and freight train with the fudge for this one i'm telling you this is way easier to do now once again just like the other glitch you got to make sure your moc is on a flat surface so you get the animation uh, open up the internet before you actually attempt to duplicate the car to get the double car stacked on top of each other and yeah always dupe with your well the original car is gonna stay in there so that doesn't even matter this time and uh, yeah, so mine's gonna have the custom plate on it, and here we go. So now that we're getting started with the glitch, this car right here, this Sultan was already parked in my MOC. I just simply pulled it out, and now I'm driving it back in. You're gonna wanna do this. It, it does help out with the glitch, I realize, so just, if you keep failing at getting the stacked cars, just drive it out and drive it back in. Now hop in the car, and you're gonna simply open up the internet. Don't even attempt the glitch, just open up the internet once. You're gonna see a delay. You want that delay because it's gonna help you with the next time. Okay, so now get back in the car, wait for the engine to start. Now open up your phone, hover over the internet, and you're gonna press A and then flick the right trigger. I actually messed up right there and I was too slow, so it kicked me out of the car. So once again, wait for the engine to start, open up the internet, hover, A, right trigger, and then there you go. You can even use left trigger, I've heard, all right? So if flicking right trigger doesn't, uh, doesn't work, flick left trigger. See if that works for you guys. And now I'm going to go back into the MOC. I got that flickering white screen like you need to get, just like in the last glitch. If you guys are confused with this part, just look at my last video. I promise you I explain it awesome in there. Okay, so I put it in slow motion. Check this out. To everybody that thinks their car didn't dupe or stack, look at the wings right there. The wing in the back, there's a double wing. Look at the tires. There's, there's double tires on each side. Look at the mirrors. Double mirrors, the front. There's double everything. My car is glitched right now. There's two cars there. Maybe you guys didn't notice that, but check that out. So if you guys think your cars didn't stack, do this. Just walk outside, you know, because there's obviously two cars in there. They were just glitched into each other, but you can tell that there were two cars. So look closely at the car. You're not always going to get them stacked right away. So I simply just walked out of the MOC, and now I'm going back in the MOC. And check out what happens. It's the result that we always want to see. The two cars are on top of each other because they were there before. They were just glitched into each other and they wouldn't move so simply if that happens to you step out and just step back in so now this is where the million dollars is going to come in and by the way you only needed to do that part once that's it it's not like the other glitch where you have to keep doing that every single time to get a dupe so go ahead and renovate your moc go to bay two and put the weapon and vehicle workshop so here's where the one million dollars comes in about 955 grand to be exact that's what you're going to need and you only got to do this once by the way just one freaking time that is it go ahead and buy it it's going to kick you out of the moc that's okay now you're just going to simply go back and run into the MOC. Now what happened here is since we had double cars in there, one of the cars stuck. I do believe this is your original car that just stuck in there. The duplicate just kind of disappeared and that's okay. So now I have my custom plate. Remember you need custom plates. So get in the car and press right D-pad to enter the uh, vehicle workshop. All you got to do is change the color. I changed the plate, uh, the, the plate uh, color by the way that is. I changed the plate just to show you guys that each car is different and it's a duplicate when we go outside and duplicate the car. You're going to notice, okay? So right here, I had only changed the plate, but I'm going to go change the color now. You just need one custom plate for this, guys. So what I'm going to do now is go to plate and I'm just going to change the color now to blue, all right? And I already put a different plate on it, you know, just in case. I like to take precautions and like I said, I want to show you guys how this works. So don't exit, you know, with the vehicle that will fuck up the glitch. You don't want to do that. You want to exit without the vehicle. And look at the mini map. All of a sudden, there's another car spawned outside. Even though we didn't drive out with this car, there's a car spawned outside. That actually is a duplicate. That's as, that's as simple as it gets. Watch, I'm going to slow it down right here. So watch as I get in. That, that plate actually changed. Well, the color actually changed. 
from the original color. So now this is a duplicate. You're going to simply just drive it into any garage that you got RH8s. It doesn't have to be full. As you can see right here, it says that my car is going to be transferred. This car didn't come from anywhere. So even if you transfer with anything, it's just going to remove it. So I'm just going to remove one of these RH8s basically. Once again, it said it was going to transfer, but that RH8 didn't go anywhere. So this is why you also need RH8s in the garage. You're going to get into any one of your RH8s and you're going to just drive it out. And when you drive it out, go ahead and park it close to your MOC. You might get cops on you if you keep doing this, so you might want to turn on bribe authorities. Uh, that's probably a good idea. I didn't end up doing it, but I thought about it after. Bribe authorities would probably work out really nice. It's only, what, 15 grand? It's not bad. And you're going to blow up each of these RH8s. So right here, that one right there, I'm just going to run, you know, after I put my sticky on there, blow it up, and now get right back into the MOC. Now, we've already saved a dupe in the garage. Here's the original car once again. So I'm going to jump in here. All you have to do is change the plate color, guys. That's all you have to do. But for the tutorial purposes, I'm going to change that and the plate. So I'm going to go with the black plate. Or actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the white plate on this one. And now I'm going to change it to my third plate right here. Okay, so remember this new plate. Now I'm just going to hit exit vehicle, and I'm just going to walk out of the MOC on foot. Do not drive the car out. You will F up the glitch, all right? So now once again, there's a car spawn and I got cops on me. This is why, you know, I was saying you might want to turn on bribe authorities. It will definitely help. So here we go. Slow down and watch this. You saw how the plate changed right there? It went from the row road to this one, to the yo-yo. And you know, with that color, it changes the color. That means that this is a duplicate. So right here, I'm just gonna simply call Lester just to get the cops off me since they're right here and I know I won't be able to enter my garage if they're on me. So I removed my wanted level and I drove back into my garage. Now remember, there's a space in there now, so it's not gonna transfer, or it's not gonna say to transfer anything. So it's just gonna let me drive in like normal. And it's gonna go into that one empty slot that I have where I pulled out that RH8. So now that I have that, right in there I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna jump into one of my other RH8s that are in here doesn't matter what RH8 you have you can I'm pretty sure you can use any car to dupe over that you don't really care about but it's easy the RH8s are free so just like the other part I'm just gonna drive out and I'm gonna go park it close to my MOC I actually think I die on this uh, on this attempt right here but let me see so yeah I park it I get out I throw <laughs> I throw my sticky on it and I'm running, oh yeah, I die right here. There you go, and I'm dead. That actually might not be a bad idea because you get cops on you every time, depending on what your location is. You get cops on you, so if you kill yourself every time you blow that up, it'll get the cops off you, so that might help. But yeah, and then go ahead and get in the car. And once again, I have a black yo-yo, or sorry, the white yo-yo plate right there. I'm gonna go to plates, and I'm gonna just hit on the blue one right here, or the black one, and then I'm gonna change it to my America plate. America. All right, exit the vehicle and go ahead and exit the trailer. Now, when you exit the trailer, there you go. There's another duplicate just sitting there. Well, it hasn't actually, you know, it duplicated, but it hasn't actually changed the plate yet. Once again, I'm going to go in slow motion and I'm going to show you guys the plate change right here. Check it out. Slow motion went from yo-yo right there to America. Yep. J just as simple as that, guys. I mean, I'm from America, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a funny plate, I love every single country, man, I love all people, don't take it as, you know, I only love America, man, it's just, I thought it was a pretty funny plate for like rednecks and whatnot, got a bunch of redneck friends, man, they were digging it, so, yeah, and that's it, once you drive it back in, the dupe is saved. Now, go ahead and grab another RH8 and you rinse and repeat, guys. You see, it's the easiest solo money glitch. I wasn't even joking with you. You just got to hit that, that original glitch one time, and that is it. Guys, it, it, is, it can't be any more simple than this. And once again, there are troubleshooting you know, methods for the original glitch. I go over all of them in my last video. That, that link will be in the description, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll have one of those cards at the end of the video that you can just click on make it really really simple and right there I didn't even get the cops on me at first you know after I blew it up and once I go back into the MOC I do believe that the cops get on me now you know the yeah yeah you see I got the flashing you know red and red light on the bottom uh, left so now I'm gonna go ahead and press right d-pad to enter the workshop and change the plate again I'm gonna go blue and I'm gonna go with the virus plate exit the vehicle and jump out and you know run out and guys you can keep doing this over and over again going to putting parking all these dupes into any one of your garages it doesn't even matter it's so simple it couldn't be any more simple man 
But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Once again, you saw the plate change to the virus plate right there. It changes right when you hop into the car and close the door. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, like always, you know where to put them down there in the comments. All my, all my subscribers, thank you so much for everything you guys have done so far. You guys really helped me out yesterday. I'm so happy with the way things have turned out. I'm actually going to be uh, coming out with another video today. You know what it's going to be. It's going to be another Shout Out Sunday video. So if you guys want a quick shout out before I start making that video, go ahead and ask me to, put, uh, to give you a shout out down here in the comments. I'll try to fit everybody in. I already got a lot of people. I might not post the exact comments, but I'm definitely going to give shout outs. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm really excited about this one. We're growing quick. So, yeah. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned. You know, use the hell out of this glitch. Keep doing it. It's mad simple. It couldn't be any more simple than this once you pass the first little, you know, part of it. And... Yeah, make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Hit that blue thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe by pressing that red button if you're new, and turn on post notifications if you want to know the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope GTA 5 online content. That's it for me. Have a good one, folks.